gauss seidel iterative method which is the modification of gauss jacobi iterative method when we are asked to solve system of linear equations using gauss seidel iterative method first we will check for diagonal dominance property which says that absolute value of diagonally located coefficient must be greater than or equal to sum of absolute values of remaining coefficients in each linear equations likewise in jacobi iterative method from the first linear equation we will find out the expression for first variable which is x here from the second linear equation we will find out the expression for second variable which is y here from the third linear equation we will find out the expression for third variable which is z here assuming that x0 y0 and z0 are the initial approximations for the variables x y and z let us evaluate first approximation values for these variables x1 which is the first approximation is evaluated exactly similar to jacobi iterative method we have the formula x1 equals d1 minus b1 y0 minus c1 z0 divided by a1 here once we have evaluated x1 the value of x from x0 changes to x1 or when we use this formula the value of x get updated from x0 to x1 this updated value of x1 will be used for evaluating y1 we have the formula for y1 given by y1 equals d2 minus a2 x1 minus c2 z0 divided by b2 where z0 is the initial approximation value for z and x1 is this updated value of x now when we evaluate y1 using this formula the value of y gets updated from the initial value y0 to the updated value y1 these values of x1 and y1 will be used while evaluating z1 we have z1 equals d3 minus a3 x1 minus b3 y1 divided by c3 where x1 and y1 are the values which have been evaluated in this current iteration the key property of gauss seidel iterative method is that here we use current values or updated values of variables at each stage of iteration it was mathematician seidel who suggested using updated values of variables rather than all the initial values or all the values derived from the previous iteration since in each iteration we are making use of updated values or current values of variables this method converges faster than gauss jacobi iterative method let us discuss formulas for second approximation we have x2 equals d1 minus b1 y1 minus c1 z1 divided by a1 where y1 and z1 will be taken from the first approximation y1